I was hoping today we'd see it go down further. So it's not that high that it's moved that tree yet. There's another tree buried underneath that area over there. We'll see if this took it away. Yes, kayaker, you come down here, you're toast right there. Scooby, right there at that tree. Check out the stuff that we can see come out of the water there. Too many hikers today. That's a crevice. Once in a while you can hear the rumble of a rock bumping down. Maybe in later years I'll try to walk the whole way during high water like this and see how uh, all the really nice low water places look <laughs> you know it gets four to six feet higher down there easy must be three feet higher right here right now but I'm an amateur I know nothing. I just got a two year hiking this trail over and over comparison. Now I'm starting to video it so it can be compared year to year, day to day. Yeah, that area over there probably all gets water. On high tide, we're underwater here, all the way up to here. So it could come up higher.
because the temperature is so high, traction is not too bad. Rocks are not slippery. The ice is though. Moving towards Cucumber Falls along the Cucumber Trail section, very tail end of what I call the whole Meadow Run Trail, but if you think of the Meadow Run Trail stopping at the Yakagani River, then that was down there where we started. This might legitimately just be the Cucumber Trail. Uh, I do not know. I'll call it such. You can remember run is that water that goes down the slides and runs into the Yakigini. That is the cucumber run. Sorry, that is the uh, meadow run. And then the cucumber run would be the run that goes over the cucumber falls and reaches the Yakagini, which is going crazy today, sort of. I'm sure it's been higher. between two rocks water's all the way up here here's the alternative trail which will take more bushwhacking to make it into a decent trail to stay closer to the river between here and cucumber falls the high trail is for the tourists